What is the World Hopper Ball? Also, tooth slime? Brandon Sanderson, after breaking so many records for crowdfunding, it's kind of unsurprising now, after breaking the internet, metaphorically, multiple times with announcements for various projects, after literally breaking the internet in the process of selling out his entire convention in less than an hour, has just dropped another bomb on us. We can't take it anymore! The World Hopper Ball 2024. So what is it? Let the obsessive analysis and rampant speculation begin! First off, can we just appreciate that the teaser video was released on effectively June 31st? Oh, but first, thank you to my patrons. Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi Corone, Gallant Aegis, and the Son of James. Patrons get a discount on my merch store. Brandon said this event is going to be in, in addition, addition to, to Dragonsteel Nexus. Nexus this year. Whether that means included in the actual event or its own separate thing, we don't know for sure, but it seems like it's going to be part of the con to me. Because... Let's take a look at the clock. The years start in 2021, which was the year of the first Dragonsteel convention, then styled as Minicon. So already the dates are linked. The long hand is focusing on the symbol for Roshar, and we also have the Shardbearer constellation in the central circle. Shorthand is pointing at Roman numeral 5, probably because we're getting the fifth Stormlight book this year. Though out of 16? Is that just general Cosmere numerology for fun, or is there more significance to that? The ring of symbols are mostly representative of different Cosmere worlds. Cell, Scadriel, Roshar, Taldane, Threnody, First of the Sun, Nalthus, and this little key symbol is the Silverlight Mercantile, who we learn in Lost Metal run a sort of interplanetary postal service. This symbol was apparently first seen in packages sent out from Dragonsteel back in 2020? as well as on Hoyd's cloak in Howard Lyon's art for the Year of Sanderson. Based on the little glimpses we get of the rotation, the covered over spots are probably Cosmere Key, Cosmere Key, and back to Cosmere. The symbols on the ring don't coincide with previous Dragonsteel cons, mostly because two of the four have been Cytoverse. 2021 was the release of Cytonic, and last year's was for Defiant. Lost Metal was 2022, so that fits, but we haven't had a story from Cell in a good long while. Maybe it goes the other way? But none of the other worlds have had recent releases either. I mean, we should be getting an updated prose version of White Sand. Mistborn Era 3 and the Elantra sequels will be coming at around the same time. You could argue that Sunlit Man is Threnody related. Isles of the Emberdark deals directly with First of the Sun. And maybe the Warbreaker sequel is getting some movement? Uh, or it's just pretty symbols. Honestly, it seems like it's just an announcement for a special event happening at Dragonsteel Nexus this year, which could be ascertained simply by the title World Hopper Ball 2024. The most exciting and completely improbable speculation I've seen actually doesn't deal with the World Hopper Ball teaser at all, but rather Brandon's latest weekly update. Considering all of the 631 bits he had hidden around, at least one of which is still present, overanalyzing backgrounds has been made fair game. In his weekly update on July 2nd, the day after the teaser dropped, we could see this. Tooth Slime. If you've been to Omega Mart in Las Vegas, you've seen this, as well as hundreds of other mind-bendy and slightly uncomfortable things available there. The way I see it, there are exactly two possible explanations for this. First, his publicity team just went to Las Vegas for VidCon, and while they were there, stopped by and got a funny thing for Brandon. But the much more exciting second, as speculated by Red the Windrunner on the 17th Shard Discord, Omega Mart is part of the Meow Wolf brand. Meow Wolf makes immersive, interactive art installations, and one of their original investors was George R. R. Martin. They have installations in Santa Fe, Vegas, Denver, Dallas-Fort Worth, with two more coming in Houston and LA. Sort of seems like they're circling Utah. So what if the Tooth Slime is actually a hint at an upcoming collaboration between Dragonsteel and Meow Wolf toward the creation of an immersive fantasy fan experience in the new Dragonsteel Village project? Or heck, what if Meow Wolf is the investor buying Evermore with IP from Brandon? They've got ties to another fantasy author. It's not impossible. So what are your thoughts on the World Hopper Ball? The official announcement is coming on July 19th, so we'll just have to wait and find... Hey, that's my line.